guys. Um, happy Thursday. I'm Martha Bragg, and I teach fourth grade at West Marion, and I teach math specifically. And I know that the last several weeks while we've been doing some virtual learning, you've been working with fractions. Well, I um, wanted to delve into something I think that's kind of fun, that's a little different, and that is our measurement aspect of fourth grade curriculum. So, we're gonna talk about angles today. And I think last year you did some um, work with angles. You learned acute, obtuse, and a right angle. And I know a lot of my students, they tell me that their third grade teachers teach them that this is a right angle, an acute angle, a cute little angle, and then an obtuse angle. Okay, so kind of go back, use that schema that you have, and remember what you did in third grade with angles. So in fourth grade, we typically, we work with four different angles, okay? We talk about a straight angle, a right angle, an acute angle, an obtuse angle. So an angle, according to our curriculum, is formed by two rays that share an endpoint and is measured in degrees, okay? So, a ray may be a new vocabulary word for you, but a ray has an endpoint, but then goes on forever. So it takes two of these to make an angle, okay? And we measure them in degrees. So you'll see if this is a right angle, 90 with a little degree mark up there, okay? So, I love to do a little search around our school or around the house and find some angles that are straight angles, right angles, acute angles, or obtuse. So, a straight angle is a straight line or a line segment, okay? So, it just it makes a straight. It doesn't have to go this way to be a straight line. It can go this way, or it can go this way, or it can go up and down. Okay, a right angle. It makes a square corner. I always try and tell my kids that's the corner of their desk, it's the corner of a book, or it's something that um, has a squared off edge, and we look for them. A lot of the time, Lainey, if you'll point up to our ceiling tiles, those have square corners. So those are all at 90 degree angles. Okay, and I tell them to use those as reference points to see, and I use 90 degrees to determine whether it is a cute angle or an obtuse angle. So a cute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So it's between one degree and 89 degrees. So it's smaller than 90, okay? And you know, it can be a cute little angle. Then an obtuse angle is larger than 90 degrees, okay? And it's a little wider. So it's between 91 degrees and 179 degrees. Because if it's 180 degrees, it's a straight angle, okay? Now, when you're measuring an angle, you use a protractor. Okay, and I'm sure we didn't get to you didn't get to this yet with your cl in your class. So we're just going to talk about it a little bit. It will measure your angle. So you will place it like on the corner. It has a little hole in it right down here, and you place it on the straight bottom line. Okay, and with the little hole on your end point, and then you measure where it points to. This one points to 90 degrees, so it is a right angle. You can find these anywhere. I mean, and usually they're fairly cheap. You could get one, play around with it, or, I mean, really, you can make your right angle and then kind of um, determine what it is from there. So, look around your house, see if your windows, what kind of angles they have in them, if you have window panes in them, um, you're like our ceiling tile at school and that kind of thing. Um, I like to have my kids look and do a flip grid or something like that 
with angles. So and remember, is angle formed by two rays. So, two rays. And they are measured in degrees. No. Now, I have some examples that I'm going to share with you. And we're going to discuss what they are, okay? So, here is this angle. If you'll see it at the bottom of this paper, what kind of angle is this? If you set a straight angle, then you are correct. So this is a straight angle. This is an, an example of a straight angle. Now here is our second one. What kind of angle do you think this is? It's an obtuse angle. And re remember, if it were to come straight up here, and a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, a right angle will have a little square in the corner. So, this is bigger than a right angle, and if it's bigger than a right angle, larger than 90 degrees, it is an obtuse angle. Okay, let's look at this third angle. So, what kind of angle is this? Remember to kind of imagine in your mind a 90 degree angle and how it relates to the 90 degree angle. Or it could even be a 90 degree angle. So, if you say this is an acute angle, then it's an acute angle, okay? An acute angle is one that is less than 90 degrees, okay? Then, here is my angle. And this is my reference just about for every angle that I look at. It is um, a right angle. And see, I, I did put the little square in there. A lot of times you'll see it. Sometimes it can be a right angle without the square in it. Um, it just, you really have to think and really work with right angles, work with all different kinds of angles so that you recognize them and know them, okay? So today, if we did MD6, measurement, our measurement standard number six, and we talked about angles. Now, I'll be back with you tomorrow and we're gonna do some more things with angles. Now, uh, remember, angles are fun. I mean, really, you can just eyeball them. Um, go around your house, look for things, look for things outside that are different angles, like maybe you have a fence outside in your yard or you have a, your swing set, the legs, see what kind of angles those are. Um, there are angles everywhere. Math is everywhere. And it does, I've said this before, um, it doesn't have to be a worksheet. It doesn't have to be something that you pen and paper and pencil. It can also be something just simply knowing this something like this and it's everywhere so get out and it's cool today but it's beautiful outside get outside spend some time with your family if you have pets um my family we've gone outside just about every day and we spend time with our dog so um enjoy your time and look for those angles today i hope you have a good one bye